Today we're going to be reviewing the Le Bais Popsicle Mold. It's an ice pop mold and foldable funnel and a small brush to clean it. Now, when I was making the popsicles, I didn't read the directions thoroughly and I didn't use the funnel. And I think this product would be a lot easier to handle if you actually follow the directions and use the funnel. It's BPA free and it's dishwasher safe and it's leak resistant. Popsicle mold is what we're gonna call it. Now you can make your own homemade healthy ice pops. And it's got like silicone, little tray. Hazel loves it obviously. And then three green ones and three yellow ones. And it also comes with a little brush to clean them. Let's read the directions very quickly. Your Levice popsicle molds have arrived. We hope you received what you expected and you're ready to make some delicious popsicles. We have some good news for you. If you register with our website, you'll get an exclusive ebook and videos about how to make popsicles. Um, and then it gives you a couple um, recipes, a blueberry chia a juicy grape popsicle recipe, a homemade strawberry creamsicle recipe, and I am gonna make up my own recipe. And I'm just gonna mix a bunch of ingredients together and stick them in the molds and see which one we like best. I like how they snap in. That way they won't tip over. We're snapping them in, Hazel. We're snapping them in. Then we're gonna fill them up with like a smoothie. And then we're gonna eat, freeze them and then eat them. So this is what it looks like with all of them set up. Put them all in there. All right, I'm gonna try to make a few different um, types and we'll see which one we like best. Um, I've got rice milk and soy milk. What do you want? You wanna pour some in there? We're gonna start with blueberry, right? Let's put a little bit of Rice milk in there. Blueberry. Okay. And then you want blueberries in there? Blueberry. Right there. Oh, yeah. Put some blueberries in. Uh, what else should we put in there? Um. Um. How about banana? Banana. Banana. Put a little, little bit of blue or banana in because we're making a little bit at a time. Okay, you ready to mix it? Here we go. We're gonna mix it. It's gonna be loud. You ready? Okay, here we go. Oops, didn't have it plugged in because I didn't want you to be close to it and it plugged in. Are you ready? Here it goes. Mixing it up. Mixing it up. Outside. Okay, it's all mixed. All right, let's pour some in there. I don't know if I should leave it in here and then pour. Here, let's see. Cool. Had to take a little break, and I'm nursing a baby. Uh, you can say, and she's nursing a baby? Say it. Baby. <laughs> You're funny. Okay, drink your milk. All right, milk break is over. Time to make more smoothie popsicles. So this time I put strawberry and banana in there, and there's a little bit of that um, blueberry stuff left over. So ready to mix it? Mix it up. to put in the bottom just for like a little sweet surprise. This one is much more thick than the other one. No, 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 Hazel, stop. <laughs> Hazel just 
couldn't wait. Now there's a big mess. I know, you couldn't wait. It looks delicious. I'm gonna stick the sticks in now. Push it. Yay! Okay. Let's show them what it looks like. You can see my little kiwis in there. Now I'm gonna um, rinse it off a little bit before I stick it in there because Hazel's Hazel was like headbutting it and I spilled it. Let's be honest, even if Hazel wasn't headbutting it, I would probably still spill it. So I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna rinse it off and then I'll stick it in the freezer. Hazel just couldn't wait, so I just let her have the rest of it in uh, smoothie form. Do you like it? Do you like it? Say yes or no. Do you like it? Smoothie? I think she likes it. So I ended up only using the rice milk. We'll see how it turns out. The popsicles are so small. I mean, it's not a bad thing. I mean, you don't need a giant popsicle. But my blender didn't allow for me to only put like a small, small amount in so I could have a bunch of different flavors of um, popsicles. Popsicle. So I only ended up doing two flavors. I did more of the strawberry because I figured Sean would really like strawberry banana. So banana. You heard me say banana and you wanted to say the sign. Yeah. You're smart. Smart. So in a few hours, I think they said three hours on the package. Oh, eight hours or overnight. Dang. Okay, so it says we need to let it freeze for eight hours or overnight. So I guess tomorrow we will be showing you what they taste like and how they come out. Boy, look at this mess. Do you love it? <laughs> I just consolidated our freezer from downstairs to upstairs. And so that means my freezer is pretty jam packed. Um, but we have like kind of a small freezer to begin with and so I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna have to put the popsicles in. So see, our drawer doesn't open that much. I can't really get them in. Oh, maybe I can. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. And I just cleaned the freezer. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how I put it in the freezer. I have to pull my drawer out a little bit further than normal uh, so that it'll fit in there. And I'm gonna put it in the ice cube tray because I have nowhere else, no more room anywhere else. I don't know if the ice cube tray is gonna allow it. Will you allow it? I might have to put some other junk other places. Crap! Man, this review is ridiculous. Okay, holy cow. It took me a few tries to get this in our freezer. Totally user error. There's no problem with the popsicle sticks. It's just me. So finally, I got them in there. We're gonna let them freeze for eight hours or overnight. And we're gonna see what they taste like when we get up. Bye, happy freezing. You think daddy's gonna like it? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Which one do you think he's gonna like? The strawberry or the blueberry? Blue. You think blueberry? Yeah, she just said like blueberry. Sean's here and we're gonna test out the ice pops that we made yesterday. It's the next day. I'm back from work, obviously it's a Sunday, so it's time to eat them. I'm excited to try it. I saw she put the kiwi in the strawberry. I know Hazel said I would prefer the blueberry one, but I think strawberry is going to be my favorite. Which one do you like? Blueberry? She's saying blueberry. All right, let's get them out of the freezer. What's that? Which one do you want? It's not a straw, Hazel. <laughs> Which one do you want? Do you want the blueberry or the strawberry? Yeah. She wants it now. She wants it now. She can't wait. Do you want the blueberry one? <laughs> They're kind of frozen in there because I rinsed it off since I made a mess. Yours won't make a mess because you'll be using the funnel. Yeah. Oh, 
that's so perfect. perfect. It says leak resistant on the box and I can kind of see why. It's got like a little bit of a lip around it. So if it melts, then it's all gonna catch in the bottom of this. Look at those kiwis. Strawberry banana kiwi. Does Hazel like it? Oh, you already bit into it. I don't like biting popsicles, it makes my teeth feel weird. Yeah, and the kiwi's frozen, frozen. What do you think? Do you like it? Oh my gosh, that's good. Yeah, it's like a smoothie in frozen form. No, I mean, I tasted natural popsicles before. Like when I was a nanny, the family used to get natural kind of strawberry popsicles. And oh, it was like store like, brand yeah, natural like, popsicles. Yeah, it was like a strawberry puree. <laughs> And this tastes just like it. No sugar added. Do you like it? Yeah. Oh, you want to try Mama's strawberry? You like that one? Mmm, I like it too. Cheers. 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 Now eat it. I think the whole family is enjoying the popsicles a lot. Uh, thank you to LeBice for sending these out for review. Hazel's gonna enjoy them, especially now that the weather is breaking. Winter is hopefully ending soon. I know we have a couple more weeks of cold weather, but. Um, this kid likes popsicles anytime. She loves popsicles, and it's a great alternative to buying store brand, sugar filled, terrible for you popsicles. <laughs> yeah, and we used all organic ingredients too. Popsicle. We made up our own recipe and our own design. Um, if you're not feeling like you're a super creative person, don't worry, they give you two um, recipes in the directions and they have a link that you can follow for more recipes. Can you see that mine has collected a little bit of drips in the... The drip catcher is working. So I've eaten my popsicle even further and I just realized a negative. Uh, unlike a wooden popsicle stick where once you get to the bottom and your fingers are too close to really bite at it or you can get all the way to the bottom because there's no tray. Um, this one has a tray, which is great for tr catching drips. But now I can't finish my popsicle off without dumping all the juice all over me or choking myself on the stick. <laughs> ah. I'll need to get a fork and then that's not very summer friendly if I gotta come back in the house and get a fork. <laughs> She's copying you. <laughs> I, I mean, there's very little left, and once it turns into a liquid on a hot summer day, you can just drink it like a smoothie. So thank you to LeBice for letting us review the popsicle mold. It was a great success, clearly. Everybody's finishing their popsicles up right now. Hazel's about to finish hers. Hold it up to the camera, show everybody. All right, I think that's gonna do it for us with this uh, Gherkin Beans unboxing and review. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.